Anchor in a box. is a little thick. <laughs> Why does Jetty want it? I don't know. I wonder if it's like, like I don't know. I don't need that. Lard? Jets. Yeah, like lard and grease. <laughs> uh, hey, get out of here. He's very intrigued by the smell though. That's you we're talking about. And we're getting a new anchor. This is our old anchor, as you guys have seen before, and she does pretty well in sand. But other than that, like medium density sand, soft sand it drags, and dense, like compact sand won't set. It just where any other anchor would set, that thing does not set. And we have heard nothing but great reviews about this Mantis Anchor, so we're excited to see if all the reviews are true. if you drop that it's gonna bang into the side of the boat, right? south and hopefully within the next week or two it's, uh, it's the weather that's just holding us up a little bit just get ready to go don't worry I'm not driving As you guys all know we use our iPad for navigation we've been using the same iPad for the past four years this is its fourth year of life just so you know it's an iPad mini 2 right yeah in a new life proof case and it's on a ram mount and it works perfect it does it does and it has worked great for us for a very long time and it's not our sole navigation system we have a dragon raymarine or yeah we have a little dragonfly gps unit and, and another handheld and charts we have lots of stuff but we love our ipad because we love the navionics app on it and it is also like our hotspot and it's our TV and it's had a very long four years of life. And but the other day it started, it stopped working for us. It still works, but it's the screen's like going dark and it's giving us these weird little lines. But like it's, yeah, it still works most of the time, but it was just kind of, it, it all of a sudden not working for part of the time. It was a little bit scary, especially when it's our navigation. But like I said, we do have backups, but just so used to the iPad. We use it 99.9% of the time. So before we head south, that's kind of a big thing. So we're gonna go to Best Buy. Hopefully we have insurance on this thing. I don't remember when we bought it, but yeah. if not, we'll get a new one. We've been price searching and they're not bad seeing as it's our navigation, our TV, our internet, and everything in one. And, so. and we've had it for four years. That's pretty good. Yeah. Even four years, just for iPad alone, just like in normal everyday uses, I'd say it's decent, fair. Way longer than our phone survived for. In this world <laughs> of planned obsolescence. So yeah, let's go to Best Buy. One more thing, our iPad is an iPad with Wi-Fi and cellular capabilities. You can't use a, just a Wi-Fi iPad to be a GPS when you're not in service, so beware. Get one with cellular. I, I've made a couple movies about that, just kind of going over that. But yes, you can use your iPad for navigation even when you don't have service, as long as your maps are downloaded before and, yeah. before you leave your service, whether it's cellular or Wi-Fi. Make sure you have cellular or Wi-Fi 
make sure your maps are downloaded, then you can turn on airplane mode and your GPS will still work to put your position on those maps. So that's how it works offshore for us. And it's cold. Two hours later, we're back in the car, and we got a new iPad. We spent about three hundred dollars. Not bad. I mean, that's a lot of money, but think necessary. About it. It's our whole navigation system. You can spend a lot more than that on a Garmin, and not have it be your TV. So we told you guys the other day we broke all of our lines. Um, we have a spare line, spare sheet for the head sail. So we're replacing that. It's a very ugly color, but you know, <laughs> saving some money around here. I don't know. It's a double braid. It's, I think it's, it's probably polyester core with, I don't know if the, the cover looks like a, like a natural line, like a cotton line or something. It's probably polyester, but. Well, you guys will see if it breaks on our way down. I think it'll be fine for the way down. We'll just do this temporarily for the trip down, and then once we get down to Florida, save up a little money, we'll probably get some nicer lines. Like, yeah. Want to know what else I found? Fancy. We're just doing a bunch of boat work here and we got a, a sailboat race right in our own backyard. So cool. Finally got a warm day. Warm as in it might get to 59 degrees. Sunny, 59. The wind is blocked a little bit. <laughs> One four seven seven because it's a dad and his little girl, and they're the fastest. We're just taking a little break. We got a lot of work to do, but trying to enjoy the show a little bit. Marlon, how are you liking the show? I really like your fancy new collar that I got ya. Back to work, Jetty girl. Back to work, come on. Let's go. You wanna go to land? You wanna go to land? I don't know where you're going. <laughs> don't have the other beanbag. Hey, Marlon. Hey, Marlon. What's going on, you guys? Hold on one sec. We're gonna pick our contest winner. I'm in here editing and Sierra is driving. So we asked you guys to comment on this video what your favorite marine animal is for your chance to win the Save Our Seas starter kit, which is in the Tula shop. And we got uh, so many responses. So some pretty funny ones too. So let's see how we can do this. All right, there. Pick a winner. Running, pick a winner. All right, ready you guys? Jose Rodriguez. I love dolphins. We especially love when they surf the wake of our boat. Congratulations, Jose. I'm gonna try to get in touch with you here. I'll shoot you an email. We'll get you the Save Our Seas starter kit. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. From here on out, we're done with the boat work for now and we cruise on down the coast finally getting down into Florida uh, for a little bit and then 
over to the Bahamas. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.